here with a quick video on how you can improve your running abilities over the summer and see the results this cross country season in the fall. I just wanted to make a video with legitimate tangible ways for you to improve your running over the summer. Um, it's just little, little ideas that you can incorporate into your summer training plan in order to get the most out of your potential come this fall. I personally run at Indiana Wesleyan, which is a small NAIA program in the middle of Indiana. And before you like dismiss this video because I'm not D1 or something, um, I think it's important that I'm NAIA because I don't have access to the amount of resources that say D1 or D2 athlete has. So that makes me have to look for smaller ways that I can improve in like cheap, cheap ways that I can improve my running ability through just like reading stuff online. And so I've kind of condensed some of the things I've learned personally over my research to help you guys. So um, the number one thing that you want to do if you want to improve your running for this fall and just make a, actually make a huge leap is you need to run your summer easy mileage slower. The number one problem with high school runners is that they run their easy mileage way too fast. See, uh, we personally are a high mileage philosophy program running upwards of 90 to 100 miles a week but I don't, I don't touch a mile faster than 7.30 until usually come cross country season, like uh, our first week at camp. You gotta keep that mileage slow because what you're doing when you're running slow is you're still building your aerobic system, which all summer mileage is building that aerobic base that you need in order for the workouts when you start building on top. You make this aerobic base here, and then once you come into cross season, you start doing these workouts and building up and building up and just getting your aerobic endurance higher but you need that base, and the only way to get that base is running that summer mileage. And if you're running it fast, all you're, do is, all you're doing is tearing your body down. There is, in my opinion, there is no reason to run faster than a seven minute mile at any level, um, I mean, unless you're like a pro or something, but at any high school level, it doesn't matter how fast you are, you don't need to be running faster than seven minutes on any of your easy mileage, because anything faster than that, all you're doing is you're just wearing down your legs you're wearing down your muscles, you're wearing down your bones, and you're just making yourself more susceptible to some kind of overuse injury come across like the actual season when you're doing workouts, and then the pounding just gets too much. Okay, so now number two, the number two most important thing in order to see results this cross-country season is consistency. You need to stay consistent during your summer training. You gotta stay five to six days a week all all summer long excuse the beeping in the background the humidifier but you got to stay consistent all summer long if you like say you come out start of the summer you're gung-ho and you run for all the month of june you run the whole month of june taking a couple days off here and there and then july you kind of peter out only sometimes running two to three times a week you're going to be hurting come when you guys come into the cross country season you need to stay consistent the entire summer all right, and the number three most important thing, especially, especially during season, number three most important thing is cut out excess sugar. Sugar inhibits your body's ability to recover by causing inflammation in all your muscles. So what you gotta do is you gotta cut out excess sugar. Me personally, during the season, I don't eat a single dessert all year long from the start of the season till after nationals. I don't eat a single dessert because that sugar takes away from your body's ability to recover. So, like, I mean, ice cream, cake, pop, all that stuff. Like I just throw it out the window. I don't eat it until after the season then. I mean, after the season, go ham, but you gotta cut out that excess sugar. It helps your body to recover faster so you can um, feel the benefits of your workout quicker and you can be ready for your next workout or next race, whatever comes up next. Number four, core work. Everyone hates it, but you gotta do it. Core work is the number, is one of the top things that you need to do in order to um, get faster in your running. Core strength is literally the most important strength that you can have as a runner. It makes it so you can, it keeps your body upright during a race. If you have strong core strength, your body's gonna stay upright, which expands your breathing, which allows your aerobic capacity to be larger while you're running so you don't get tired as fast. Because then if your core is weak, you're gonna start slumping forward and then your lungs are gonna collapse and you're gonna go into oxygen debt. And let me tell you, you do not wanna go into oxygen debt. That sucks, been there before. And number five, uh, just, this is kinda like, just kinda like a mindset. Just have fun, don't get too invested in performance results. 
Um, one of the things that I tear people down as runners is just putting all all of their um, all their identity in the results. Like if you have a bad race or you don't have don't improve as much as you want to, you can't just get super down and think like, oh, I'm a crappy runner because I had a bad race. Everyone has bad races. You got to stay strong, bounce back, and just enjoy running. That's the number one thing. You just got to enjoy running. If you don't enjoy running, then there's really no point to what you're doing. You should find something else. Just enjoy the process. Enjoy racing. Enjoy the community. Cross Country is a great community where you get to meet all kinds of different people, all striving to do the same thing you're doing, which is run faster. So, uh, yeah, those are my five tips right here. One, run, run your miles slower. Two, stay consistent in your mileage all summer. Three, cut out excess sugar. Four, hit that core work on the weekly. And number five, just have fun. Don't get invested in the performance results. Well, that's it for this video. Uh, thank you very much if you watched along. Uh, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. And uh, let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more videos, uh, what kind of videos you want to see. Um, I'm really into running, so I will talk about anything related to running. Peace.